I'm Peter Rukavina. I'm a longtime Plazes user, and in this series of screencasts, I'll show you how I use Plazes every day. I've just arrived at the office and turned on my computer. My Plazer has automatically started up and connected to Plazes. As a result, Plazes automatically knows where I am and lets me publish that information in a variety of ways. My profile page on Plazes.com gets automatically updated to show my new location. So does the Plazes map of my neighborhood. My pages on social networks like MySpace, Tagworld, and Friendster show where I am. And even my web blog gets automatically updated with my location. So one of the great things about Plazes is that it lets me take information about me and my location and publish it automatically in many different ways. Plazes is more than just a publish my location tool. It's a community of thousands of Plazes users. Among those users are my Plazes contacts, friends, family, colleagues, and others who've agreed to share their location information with me. I can keep track of the current location of my Plazes contacts in my desktop or mobile Plazer and on my dashboard page at Plazes.com. The Plazes People Browsing tool lets me browse for other Plazes users, whether they're my contacts or not. I can browse by location, interests, and status. Plazes lets me navigate a rich social network of people and their constantly changing locations. So not only is Plazes a tool that lets me publish information about my location, it's a tool that lets me participate in a network of people, friends, family, and others, and be constantly up to date about where they are and where they've been. Places is also a community of, well, places, locations that Places users have visited around the world. Using the Plays browser, I can easily find, say, Wi Fi hotspots in Dublin, restaurants in San Francisco or hotels in London. And every Plays has its own profile, built by Plazes users who've been there, with a web link, address, weather, a detailed map, photos, and even comments from others who've been there. So Plazes is also a rich worldwide source of information about interesting places, built by users around the world who've been there. To get the most out of Places, sign up for a free Places account. When you visit Places.com for the first time and click on All Places, you'll see a map of the world with Places' best guess for your current location, even if you don't have a Places account. Without an account, you can do simple things like finding Places in your local area. With a free Plazes account, you can use the Plazer software on your Mac or PC to automatically update your location as you move around from network to network. You can use Plazer for mobile phones to update your location from anywhere. Plazes will remember every location you've visited, and if you like, you can publish this trays of your travels just like you publish your current location. You can create new Plazes and enrich Plazes you've discovered with detailed information, photos and comments. You can develop a network of Plazes contacts and keep up to date on their location and send them messages. And you can build your own Plazes profile page, adding your photo, contact information, links to other sites and social networks, and more. Getting a free Plazes account starts with a visit to Plazes.com and a click on the Sign Up for Free link. Just enter your name, email address, password, and select a Plazes username, the way you'll be referred to inside Plazes. When you sign in with your new account for the first time, you'll see your Plazes dashboard, and you can narrow down Plazes' best guess of your location to exactly where you are by entering an address. To make the most of Plazes, download the free Plazer software. You can download it from the Track Location section of Plazes.com, there's a version of Plazer for Mac, Windows, and Linux, and the website has step-by-step -step installation instructions. After installation, the first time you run Plazer, you simply enter the username and password for your Plazes account and click Login. 
If Plazer recognizes your location as an existing Plaze, your Plazer's location will be automatically set for you. If you visit a brand new location, you can discover the new Plaze and help to enrich Plaze's database of locations. You don't need to be in front of your computer to tell Plazes where you are. The mobile Plazer, free from the Track Location section of Plazes.com, lets you set your position and use several other Plazes features from anywhere. You can set your location from a list of nearby Plazes. Find out the current location of your Plazes contacts by looking at your buddy list. You can even use the mobile Plazer to find Wi-Fi hotspots in your vicinity. To install the mobile Plazer on your phone, just click Download the Plazer for Mobile Phones. Click on your phone model, enter your mobile number, and you'll be sent a download link by SMS. With Plazes SMS service, you can use Plazes from any mobile phone. You simply send text messages to Plazes and receive confirmation or informational messages back from Plazes. Before you can start using Plazes by SMS, you need to activate your mobile number. Simply select your country, enter your number, and click Activate Plazes SMS. You'll receive a confirmation SMS message on your phone, and you're set. You only need to activate once. Using Plazes by SMS is easy. Just send an SMS from your mobile phone to one of Plazes SMS numbers. There are numbers for both Europe and North America, and you can use either from anywhere in the world. Plazes SMS uses a simple, easy to remember set of commands. For example, to update your current location, simply send a message starting with at, followed by the name of an existing or new place. Plazes will send you back an SMS confirming that your location has been updated. And just like using the Plazer application on your PC or mobile, your Plazes location gets automatically updated anywhere you've published it on Plazes.com, on your blog, or in your MySpace profile. Plazes.com has a complete list of the Plazes SMS commands you can send, including messages for setting your location, locating your contacts, and finding free Wi Fi. You can even invite your friends to become new Plazes users. Once you're set up with an account and you're using Plazer to update Plazes about your location, you can start to really use Plazes to do useful things. If I'm taking a trip to Toronto, for example, I can search for restaurants that my Plazes contacts have visited that have free Wi Fi. And I can get detailed information about each of them. Let's say it's almost lunchtime and I'm looking for someone to go out and eat with. I can look in my Plazer to see if any of my contacts are nearby. I see that Cynthia is just around the corner. So I call up her Plazes profile page and click on her Skype or IM link. We make arrangements to eat somewhere close by. And once we're out at lunch, I can use my mobile Plazer to let everyone else know where I am. Some of Plazes' most useful features are those that you can set up to happen automatically based on your current location. If you're using a Mac, for example, Plazer can be set to automatically update your iChat status message to your current location. So as you move from place to place, your iChat contacts, even if they're not Plazes users, always know where you are. You can do the same thing with your mood text in Skype if you're using Plazer on a PC. From the badge page in the Share Location section of Plazes.com, you can design a custom map that shows your current location. You can paste the map HTML code that Plazes generates for you into your blog template. Any blogging system that supports enhancing your template with custom HTML will work. The map on your blog will always be updated with your current Plazes location. To add a map to your MySpace profile, use the MySpace widget tool in the Share Location section of Plazes.com. Just pick a size and a color scheme, preview the result, enter your MySpace email address and password, and your MySpace profile gets automatically updated with your custom map, a map that always shows your current Plazes location. Your Plazes profile is your own page on Plazes.com, a place to tell other Plazes users and the world a little bit about you. To set up your profile, click on the profile link on Plazes.com. 
there are five sets of settings you can modify. Under About Me, you can enter as much or as little information about yourself as you like. Your name, birth date, contact information, your interests and links to other websites about you. All of the information is optional and you can control whether everyone or just your contacts gets access to your how to reach me information. Under photo, you can add a photograph of yourself to your Places profile that will be used across Places.com to represent you. And under URL, you can create or remove your own Places.com URL that will link people directly to your Places profile. Under the Privacy Settings section of your Places profile, you can control what email you receive from Places, whether or not Places keeps a history of all the locations you visit, and who has access to your current and historical location information. Anybody, only other Places users, or only your Places contacts. In the Account section of your Places profile, you can change your Places username or password, or your contact email address, and you can even terminate your account, removing any trace you were ever signed up at all. That's the end of this brief look at Places. At Places.com, you'll find all the tools, ideas, and answers to frequently asked questions you need to get started.